four wheel high, I think we're gonna go with. Four wheel high. It's gonna be all the way down. There we go, okay. We set. Let's call that till we need it. Here we go, all right. Time to start the climb. It's crazy. It's, it's really good, you know? People just drop everything and go on an adventure. It's a heck of a feeling. It's a really cool, like, excited kind of feeling. Like, almost excited, terrified. Uh, that's, but it's, it's a hard way to describe it, really. Uh, it's just cool. It really is. All right, let's start climbing. through for 
a second down to the lake and I saw some campers lights or something. It was totally out of place though for where we are. I'm just trying to keep my eye open. I'm going really slow, paying attention. I almost paid attention and drove down the wrong turn off a minute ago. That would have been bad. Okay, that's another one. See how it looks like it's a turn off? It's not though. Okay. We're getting close. I think we got another mile maybe. Maybe two. Oh no. We hit some snow and I've just I slid in here and I just killed the pickup. We're gonna get out of this. We're gonna go backwards. We're out. We're going back. I don't know how, but we are. I don't have backup lights. Let's get that on my face. I gotta work this out and then I'll record. Okay, that was really intense. I got out of it using my head. Praise Jesus. All right, all right. We're gonna, we're gonna have to get smarter than this. Okay, okay. Good. I'm hugging the, the wrong side, but it's at least it's not the, the cliff side, so I'm doing right. All right. All right. So, we're going to put this light right there. Well, somewhere it's going to stick. Okay. All right. I'll let you know when we're, uh, we have succeeded. Check out what we got going on, my friends. I got a nice open area right here. I'm gonna be able to turn around. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Maybe in some twisted way. This excitement is like how I get my thrills nowadays. What's important, so what I always try and remember, uh, when things all of a sudden go wrong, right? There's this feeling of like doom, kind of, right? And that's gonna be there no matter what. Uh, maybe there are some people that have been able to train it out of themselves. I like to think of it like a controlled panic, right? And then that panic turns into focus because in those moments, if we freak out, we slam on the gas, we, we jam the, the wheel left or right, we, we don't do what we need to do, which is stay calm and do the next right thing. I have a lot of experience, especially like in snow and ice and stuff, so there's no real good substitute for experience and we just need practice for that. For a moment, I thought I was really up the creek too because as I was backing up, so after getting jammed up, I was backing up and I was having a back back through the slush and ice and the wheels caught on me and so the whole truck started sliding towards the edge. In those instances, we have to turn the wheels back the way that it's sliding so that we can regain our control over the rig. It's very hard to do because all of our instincts tell us to pull away from the danger. In that instance, we have to pull into the danger uh, and then it'll give us back our control and then we can skid out of it in the last second. All right, I'm gonna get this turned around. Uh, and then we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do from here. I need a moment to look at the train out here. You just wait here. Okay, we're good, we're good. What we're gonna do, we're gonna back up a little bit. Uh, I don't like that light that's just it's too bright.
right there. Okay, that's fair. Uh, so we're gonna back up a little bit and then pull in here and turn around. Come on. All right. Uh, come on, you can't be doing that. Good, all right, now you, you concentrate, I'll concentrate. We're home free now. I don't know what we're gonna do or where we're gonna go. I uh, might wind up camping in the corrals. I don't know, we'll figure it out. First this and th this part of the objective is turn around. Just good old fashioned mud. All right, all the gauges are good. How you doing, Max? All right, Max is doing good, we're doing good. You doing good? All right, this is what adventure is about. It's never easy. It's a mistake to think that anything is ever gonna be easy, I have come to understand. Because then when it isn't, it's flooded with disappointment. If we realize that things are going to be hard and count on our own determination and ability, even if that is ability is only to gain experience in those difficult times then we can hit it and it becomes an adventure uh, and there's not a soul crushing problem you know here we go break off yes okay so I'm doing my job Max you do your job we weren't so stubborn I'd say we just roll home you know take a shower make a cake Watch a movie. What fun would that be though? No, we'll press on. Oh, I mean, now I'm already in the lowest gear I have. Okay, use the gear, not the brake. Use the gear, not the brake. Okay, there you go. Good job, good job. All right, I'll let y'all guys know once we're a little further down the road. I know right now all you're doing is staring at me. There's not much to see out there, trust me. Alright, we're about, I don't know, a mile and a half. Past a minute ago. To y'all guys. I uh, try and think what to do. I'm thinking if it's not too late, uh, we might swing up and see the legend. I uh, and then maybe camp in the horse corral tonight and hike into the cabin tomorrow. I don't like not doing what I've set out to do, and I really want to get eyes on the cabin. Uh, if we have to camp here tonight at the corrals, we won't be able to camp at the cabin tomorrow. It'll take all day long to hike in the long way. Uh, we'll at least get to see it, though. I thought about hiking it tonight uh, in the middle of the dark. I just don't think that's wise. Really. I haven't decided on anything yet though. We'll wait till the adrenaline runs down a little bit. Okay, the legend. Okay, the legend's lights were off, I could tell. And I did not want to pull up there and turn around. So, uh, cause I really don't want to bug him. He's such a good friend of mine and he has helped me so much. 
uh, and I do not want to be inconsiderate. So I backed up all the way back down this driveway. Uh, now we're headed towards the lake. I don't think we're camping at the lake. I might find a pull off when we camp in my pickup truck. Just keep heading towards the cabin down the long path uh, till we can't go any further. Camp in the truck and then uh, tomorrow hike in. That's what I'm thinking. We're at the corrals. This is all posted private property. However, I have permission from all the landowners to be out here and use this uh, pass or path. I'm wondering, we camped in the corral not long ago. I, I mean, I didn't come here to camp somewhere that I can drive to, you know. Here's the corral. All right, let's just keep heading for the cabin. We have enough fuel to be able to make it. It's that or we turn around and go home now. And I'm not much of a turn around and go home kind of guy. Road. Let's get out and take a look. Okay, that way is the lake. We're not going there. That way. Is open road. We got well the pickup truck says we've got half a tank of fuel. It likes to say that though. We follow this until it gets to a real trail. That trail is not easy. Some of the worst parts of it, oh my lights, dang it. Bear with me guys, it's been one of those days. All right, I'm thinking about camping on the road at the bottom of that trail in the pickup truck. Or if, if we can get up that that trail in the pickup truck we have park right up at the top of it I uh, camp the night now there is a good possibility that I I might get one of those crazy moments where I decide we're gonna go ahead and head to the cabin because there's a bright moon tonight it's not full it's bright though and I can see really well uh, in the dark It'll suck for y'all guys. Uh, let's get to the trail and then we'll figure it out from there. Come on, Max. Max is really strong. This is a really good pickup truck.
going to be really hairy. I almost want to see a little bit further up it before we take the pickup truck. Uh, I get my pistol and we're going to walk a little ways up it. It's not far before it levels out in the first landing. I just don't, I don't want to be making a lot of mistakes. All right, I'm going to get my 44 and then uh, we'll take a little scroll right up it. wet ground it's just not very even ground i'm not gonna high center on it i don't think i say we try it we've come this far i don't know guys i don't know we'll give it one good try if it doesn't work I don't know. I don't want to go home. I'd really like to just camp up here at the top of this trail. And then we can hike into the cabin tomorrow. See what happens. All right, let's see what happens. Y'all aren't going to be able to see much. I may have to kill this light on. So, here we go. mistakes in my life to know when it's not working I uh, and when it's not worth it I I'll throw in on 10% success rate when I have to I don't do that stuff why I don't have to though we're running low on gas I need a minute to think Sometimes that's an important thing, is to stop and take a minute to think. So, uh, y'all guys give me just a second, or a minute, more accurately, and then, uh, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do. All right, I thought about it. We're gonna give it a shot. To put us in four wheel low, we're gonna go low, low. We're gonna give it a try. You know, maximum effort. And uh, if it doesn't work out, fine. You know, that's just the way it is sometimes. Sometimes things don't work out. I ruined my life several different times uh, with unrealistic expectations. So, let's do it. Let's do it, Max.
sit, miss, sit. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on, come on, come on. I can't see. I hope you can see. Okay, good, good, good. That's the way to do it. Okay, okay. Now. This is wild. This doesn't just feel wild. We just entered the wild right here, okay? Anything could happen. Who knows what? Big cats. Every now and then a grizzly bear comes down from Canada. They don't stay long. They do do it. So we are officially in the wild. I will walk around for a minute. I've got to go take a look up here and see how much further we can go. We'll need a place to turn around. We can't back back down that. That's for sure. Uh, so just wait here. I'll be right back, okay? Then I heard something just then. Guys, I apologize. My lights just aren't bright enough. I was trying to film out here, like starting the fire and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna let y'all guys wait in the pickup truck and I'm gonna finish up out here. Cause I do kind of, for me out here, I can see better by the moonlight and these lights are kind of blinding me. So I need to turn them out. I'm gonna do dinner. I'll bring y'all guys out for the fire uh, and then we'll eat and figure out what we're doing with the rest of the night. So yeah, cause I just, I can't see anything out here either with these on. The weird thing is that's so much better there. And then when I kill this one, now I can see over there. And this one over here that's really shining in my eyes, I can't see anything, right? All I can see is that light. Oh my goodness, that is so much better. See? Okay. The moon's beautiful. That's the moon. I don't want to make this a dark video. Okay, so... To be continued. Uh, remember, stay in the light.